More than 40 million Americans are afflicted with osteoporosis. One out of every two women and one in four men over the age of 50 will have it or will have an osteoporosis-related fracture in his or her lifetime. Well, now recent controversy over prescription medications has some patients looking for alternative ways to strengthen and support their bones. In 2002, Camille Krieger was diagnosed with osteopenia, the early stages of osteoporosis. Her doctor put her on Fosomax, one of four prescription medications that are part of a class of drugs called bisphosphonates. For the first few years, her doctor measured her bone density and found something surprising. I was getting worse and worse. By 2005, I had osteoporosis. Krieger stopped taking the prescription medication and turned instead to nutritional specialist Jay Foster. When we see tests on women with osteoporosis, we see magnesium deficiencies, zinc deficiencies, manganese deficiencies and uh, other chemical imbalances, and when we correct those, the bones begin to harden and we build new bone. Foster is concerned about reports that the prescription medications may actually increase the risk of sudden fractures of the leg. The bisphosphonate class of drugs increase bone mineral density, but they do so by retaining old bone, which is weaker than new bone. While studies are underway into the issue, the FDA recently said no conclusive link has been found between bisphosphonates and bone fractures. Dr. Nina Gupta with Broward Health says the reported side effects from the bisphosphonate class of drugs are relatively rare and don't outweigh the potential benefits of the drugs. Yes, we need to be educated about the possible side effects and potential side effects for certain patient populations, but that's not for every patient population. This is so good. The doctor always recommends her patients try lifestyle modification before medication, good nutrition, weight-bearing exercise, not smoking, limiting alcohol, and taking necessary supplements can all reduce the risk of osteoporosis. Mm -hmm. But Gupta says not everyone responds to lifestyle modification. That alone is not going to be sufficient. Mm -hmm. So they need that extra help. Good day. Mm -hmm. Fortunately, Camille Krieger responded well to lifestyle modification, which did include taking a host of vitamins and minerals. Over time, her bone density has increased, lowering her risk of a fracture. And I just overall feel better, uh, my skin is better, uh, I have a lot more energy. Osteoporosis can strike really at any age, but the risk does increase with, uh, with the age at, for those especially over the age of 50. Doctors recommend getting regular bone density scans and being charted on a frac scale to determine the exact risk of getting a